In this episode, we will be marking up the very simple UI of the actual main scene we'll be using. So we can go ahead and set up just a user interface. I like calling this main. And then you can go ahead and save the scene as main. And you want to make sure the layout is set to full rect. And then let's see here. We want a vertical box container. And I can set that to full rect. And then a, I believe it is a label. And we can just say to do. I'm going to center that on both the X and Y axis. And then I'm going to create a, a H box container. And then add in two things, a line edit and a button. I'm going to set the line edit to expand on the horizontal and vertical axis. And the button, I'm just going to set text to just a plus sign. And then I'm going to give these names. I'm going to give the label title line edit um new to do input and this one add to do okay and then we want a another well we actually want a scroll rect so scroll container it's not called scroll rex it's called scroll containers i'm going to set it to expand on the horizontal and vertical axis and then i'm just going to add in a vbox container into there set its size flex to expand on horizontal and vertical so i'm going to give this vbox container name let's just say to do list and then i'm going to give the root vbox container just a name of something like just say contents so that's pretty much the basic markup of the Main thing, nothing really happens here. We can't add in anything, nothing works. Uh, I'll also be marking up the individual items. So I'll go ahead and create a new scene here. User interface layout, top wide. I'm going to just add in a label here. Uh, size flags expand and expand. I'm actually probably going to make this a horizontal box container. New item label, okay. Uh, item content and if you want to you can center it on the you can center it or you can just leave it aligned left i'm probably going to center it and then i'm going to add in a button and i can just say um there really isn't a good ascii code for check mark uh let's actually see here let's go to firefox ascii code check mark check mark symbols so you can see here there's some new code texts I'm to see what this one's about. I, I want to see if the Godot actually supports it. No, it does not. It does not appear to. Okay. So how can we actually use Unicode hex and Godot? I don't believe you can. So I'm just to say mark as done here. It, it was worth experimenting though. So mark as done button. And I'm going to duplicate that and say delete button. And I'm just going to give it X as its text. Okay, so that's pretty much the markup for the new item. And let's see it actually laying out. So I should be able to duplicate this a bunch and we can see it automatically stacks. And if it goes too far, we should see it start clipping and the scroll container starts to kick in. Okay, so that's the markup. Now we can move to the next tutorial.